Hello everybody, my name is 7-Eleven, and welcome to week 3 of the UGBC Season 2. First week, we beat Damien 5-0. Second week, we lost to Rick uh, 5 and now we are battling Rick's different person, similar name. He has a very offensive team, aside from the Ooksy. So, let's get underway here. So, he... He leads, and I figured, you know, he may go for us. any sort of grass-type move, grass whistle or whatever. So I decided to go into Cybertron here, and this was a free time to set up Stealth Rock, and I got some pain split. Unfortunately, I, I figured that this was just a really bad time to, um, it was just a really bad time for uh, Cybertron. The Rotom mode because there really wasn't much that I could do uh, to this Ooxie. So I decided, you know what, I may be able to set up on this thing with foundation. And so I go for a power up punch. Maybe I can set some setup and sweep. But then there's the Thunder Wave. And it's like, well, there goes that plan. So I was predicting for a Culverberry knockoff from something, and that worked out really well. So now I'm at plus two, and so in comes this Electivire. And now Power Punch is doing quite a good bit, and so I decided to switch there into Vice Grip, uh, predicting the Earthquake, and I was correct there. Um, I did not have Protect. And I had to take an Ice Punch, and I did live. I figured, well, I could take out this Electivire, but it, in the long run, it would be better off if I got up my Stealth Rock. He goes for the Wild Charge, and I, I could not do... I, I couldn't really preserve Volcanion very well. He could take me out with another Wild Charge or whatever, so I just sacked it. So Bullet Punch is actually doing a lot of damage. Uh, to Electivire, and unfortunately, I was paralyzed there. So that was a, that was really really poor. So in comes 7-Eleven and gets a mock punch off, revealing the Life Orb. So this is a pretty unfortunate battle so far. I have to switch again because I know that I really can't do anything to uh, Latios, especially since it outspeeds. That Electivire was doing a lot of work to my team because it was outspeeding everything at that point. So I got the uh, Critical Hit Sucker Punch off, which was pretty interesting. And now in comes Leo, and I went into Dragon Tail, and he sends in a Fairy. Now if, if Blastoise had Roar, then the outcome would have been a much, much different, much different game. I figured that Whimsicott wanted to stun Spore again, and so I sent in the only Pokemon that couldn't be statused, but Moonblast was able to take it out anyway. I was like, well, shoot. This game is just not going my way. Rix is, and look, I missed a Fire Blast. Rix is really having all the momentum. There goes a Dragon Pulse, and now it's 5 on 1 against against me. So, there's Leo, in comes uh, Whimsicott, and the best thing I can do at this point is Scald. I do get the burn, which is nice, but it's not going to be enough, because Energy Ball is a 2 hit KO, and so this was not the best battle for me. So, um, that was the battle. I have another devastating loss. Um, I, I feel like I prepped well, but uh, I just couldn't get the momentum. Uh, I didn't predict the Thunder Wave on Oopsie, so that was pretty annoying. Um, but other than that, I just didn't play very well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I have a buy next week. We'll pick up with, with week five in a little bit. And I will see you guys later. Peace.